Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your kind attention, please? I request our distinguished dignitaries and special invitees to kindly be seated with their mobile telephones and all electronic gadgets switched off, please. May I request all our distinguished dignitaries and special invitees to kindly be seated with their mobile telephones and all electronic gadgets switched off, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, I welcome you to the Lakshmipat Singhania IIML National Leadership 2008 Awards Ceremony. Together with the JK organization, the Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, instituted these awards to honor outstanding individuals who achieved leadership stature through excellence and transformational energy in the fields of business, science and technology, community service, and social upliftment. The Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, is celebrating this year, 2009, as a Silver Jubilee year. Ladies and gentlemen, as we await the arrival of the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Hamid Ansari, we'd like to share with you a short film based on a poem, Ma O Ma, inspired by Rabindranath Tagore's poem, Matri Mandra Punya Angan, that translates as bright in the courtyard of the temple of your motherland. It was written to commemorate the inauguration of Jagdish Chandra Bose's famous research institution, the Bose Institute, the first of its kind in Asia. A few years ago, it was adopted as a science anthem at the World Science Congress. Shakti 
शादी बंधन मोतरे आओ गाने आओ करने देश के दाग मिटावो रे पुण्य गानी गौरव शादी आवाजी माँ महिमा शादी We hope you've enjoyed the spirit behind the film. We now await the arrival of our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, who will be arriving from my right-hand side. And the moment he comes, I shall request you to kindly rise for the national anthem, please. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your kind attention, please? For all those who joined us in the plenary hall, we are expecting our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Hamid Ansari, in just a few moments from now. The moment he reaches the stage, I shall request you to kindly rise for the national anthem, please. May I request all those who joined us in the plenary hall to kindly have their mobile telephones and all electronic gadgets that make a noise to kindly have them put on switch off mode, please. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India has arrived. Kindly please rise for the National Anthem, please. Namaskar and a very good evening. 
We're extremely honored and privileged to have here with us as our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Hamid Ansari. May I request Mr. Sri H. S. Singhania to kindly present a floral bouquet to the Honorable Vice President, please, and welcome him to our function. May I now request Dr. Devi Singh to kindly present a floral bouquet to our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege in requesting the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Hamid Ansari, to kindly light the ceremonial lamp and inaugurate this evening's function. All our distinguished dignitaries on the stage are requested to kindly join His Excellency in joining the lighting of the lamp ceremony, please. The dia, when lit, emits light, derives energy. It is this very energy which is the life force which sustains us. Each wick being lit is passed from one to another, symbolizing the sharing of knowledge. Each wick being lit today is a prayer for global peace and solidarity. Thank you very much, Honorable Chief Guests, and thank you very much, distinguished dignitaries on the stage. I now have the privilege in requesting the President of the JK Organization, Sri Hari Shankar Singhania, to kindly deliver his welcome address to the distinguished audience, please. Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Mohammed Hamid Ansari, Shri Krishan Chand Pant, Chairman and members of the jury, members of the advisory committee, Dr. Devi Singh, Director, Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, Shri Bharatari Singhania, Director, JK Organization, the eminent award winners, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of great pleasure and privilege for me to welcome you all to this function, being held to present Lakhnava Singhania IIM Lakhnava National Leadership Awards. We are privileged and delighted to have with us today the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Mohammed Hamid Ansari. In spite of his busy schedule, he has graciously consented to give away the awards. Sri Ansari joined Indian Foreign Service in 1961. In a career span of over three and a half decades, he served as ambassador of India to UAE, Afghanistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and High Commissioner to Australia and Permanent Representative of India to the United States Nations in New York. He also served as Vice Chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University and has extensively written on various aspects of foreign policy, especially West Asia. You know, our sincere thanks to you, sir. Our special welcome and thanks to Sri Krishna.